domination. And I have fought against black domination. I have cherished the idea of a democratic and free society in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunity. It is an idea which I hope to live for and to achieve. But if needs be, it is an idea for which I am prepared to die. The world mourns. A global icon is no more. Nelson Wahitla Mandela has died. In his last days, Mandela endured a recurring lung infection. Born in Transkei, South Africa on July 18, 1918, Mandela graduated as a lawyer from the College of Fort Hare and the University of Witzwatersrand in 1942. He entered politics in 1944 by joining the African National Congress, ANC, to fight against the ruling National Party's apartheid policies. We have made it very clear in our policy that uh, South Africa is a country, a country of many races. There is room for all the various races in this country. There are many people who feel that it is useless and futile for us to continue talking peace and non-violence against a government whose reply is only savage attacks on an unarmed and defenseless people. He went on trial for treason in 1956 to 1961 and was acquitted in 1961. Following the banning of the ANC in 1960, Nelson Mandela was instrumental in the setting up of a military wing within the ANC. In 1963, Mandela and other leaders of the ANC and the Umkonto Wesizwe were arrested for plotting to overthrow the government by violence. The court process gave Mandela and his colleagues international recognition before he and eight others accused were sentenced to life imprisonment on June 12, 1964. This was to be Mandela's exodus to a prison life that was to span more than two decades on Robben Island and Portsmouth prisons in Cape Town. Mandela's reputation grew steadily and became the most significant black leader in South Africa and a powerful symbol of resistance to the apartheid regime. After 27 years in prison and strong resistance to be compromised for his freedom, Mandela was released on February 11, 1990. Comrade leader Nelson Mandela is just walking out of the prison. In 1991, at the first National Congress of the ANC held inside South Africa after the organization had been banned in 1960, Mandela was elected president of the ANC. In April 1994, the Mandela-led ANC won South Africa's first democratic elections. Never, never, and never again shall it be that this beautiful land will again experience the oppression of one by another. Madiba, as Mandela was affectionately referred to, established the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, TRC, in 1995 
to investigate human rights violations under apartheid. In 1996, he oversaw the enactment of a new democratic constitution before resigning the following year from his post with the ANC. Unlike many African leaders who cling to power, Mandela did not seek a second term as South African president despite having spent 27 years in prison fighting the minority white rule. Mandela stepped down after five years as president and was succeeded by Tabombeki in 1999. When I told one of my advisors a few months ago that I wanted to retire, he growled at me, quote, you are retired. <laughs> <laughs> if that is really the case, then I should say, I now announce that I'm retiring from retirement. <laughs> After leaving office, Mandela retired from active politics but remained a strong international presence as an advocate of peace, reconciliation and social justice, often through the work of the Nelson Mandela Foundation. It is a very emotional moment for us that those who are fighting for democracy, for peace, for love, among South Africans should be mowed down by those who feel, who fear democracy. Mandela and Madikizela Mandela divorced in 1996. And in 1998, Mandela married Graka Michelle, the widow of Samora Michelle, the former Mozambican president. He was a founding member of the elders a group of international leaders established in 2007 for the promotion of conflict resolution and problem solving throughout the world. In 2008, Mandela was fitted with several celebrations in Africa, Great Britain and other countries in honor of his 90th birthday. Mandela Day, observed on Mandela's birthday, was created to honor his legacy by promoting community service around the world. It was first observed on July 18, 2009 and was sponsored primarily by the Nelson Mandela Foundation and the 46664 initiative. Later that year, the United Nations declared that the day would be observed annually as Nelson Mandela's International Day. Mandela's writing and speeches were collected in I Am Prepared to Die, No Easy Walk to Freedom, The Struggle is My Life, and in his own words, his autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom, was published in 1994. <laughs> Sapo no